Hi there amazing people, my name is David Reedman and this is the first video of 2024. It's incredible, I know. And actually, I should actually say, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, couple of months. It's been quite a long time. I've been posting bits and bats, admittedly, but not the level that I've been doing over the last year or so. In that time, when I first started my YouTube channel, I created this record. You can still pick it up. Send me a message. I'm still doing advertisement, still selling it. It's doing really well. It's been really successful. This album, Medusa, which came out 22 August the 5th. It's been a while since then, of course. But plan, of course, is like I've said a few times in my videos, it's time for some new music. And let, I'm going to give you a little tiny moment of taste here because the guy that I wrote it with, my main sidekick, I'm not going to mention any names at this point, an amazing keyboard player. He doesn't really know. I mean, he, he offered it up and I did my melody and I did my thing on it. Got the guitar player down and the drums and everything. Uh, but he doesn't really know that I'm going to release this. I'm going to let him know at some point. I don't think it's a biggie. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Come on. As promised, new stuff coming up. That'll be the first single. Um, it's up to you guys whether I actually make another record or not. There's going to be a couple of songs, a couple of singles that we've been working on. I've been also working with a local guy in Hill Design, an incredible guitar player. Not going to mention any names at this point. I've got an amazing German drummer once again on drums. He put the drums down. I've got an amazing guy from Italy playing uh, um, guitars. An amazing bass player from Belgium. I got another guy from Belgium on keyboard, so it's just going to be really amazing. And um, just got to get the final touches to the vocals to be happy with it. And uh, most of all, of course, it's got to be mixed. The next thing I want to talk about in my first video of 2024 um, is recently I found on a trip to the UK. I found my DAT player. Now this DAT player was given to me when we played Pink Cream 69. We played for the second time, I think. Um, second time, we played one time <laughs> in Japan. And then that one time, there was a guy in the audience recording a bootleg of the uh, Pink Cream 69 show. And uh, he recorded it on this DAT player. The guy came backstage after we'd finished and he said to me, Dave, I'm really sorry. I said, you know, what are you sorry for? And he said, um, I just I discovered a guy recording his bootlegged the concert. Uh, and what we do in Japan, if somebody does that, then we, we not only confiscate, obviously, the tape, we take the player. Now, at that time, in about 96, 97, this Walkman, that player, was really expensive. So he said, look, you know, what I want to do is I want to give you the DAT tape, which I don't have anymore. We actually used it. The band actually used the bootleg that he'd created to use an ambient mix on a, a live recording that we did, which was released at Pink Cream 69. Um, I want to give you the player. You know, I'm going to give you this. Take it. I think it had a mic on the top, which I've lost, of course. I lose everything. And um, yeah, this, this was, it was just amazing. So I could check out all my dats, all the recordings. I've got like bootlegs of obviously, you know, Pink Room 69 in the studio back in the day. And I found, I found, I don't know if you guys remember the song, Break the Silence. Now we were in the studio back in the day and um, we, we didn't, we didn't, the song was, was good. We knew it was going to be a great song. It's on Electrified, by the way. And uh, the reframe was not there. We had a reframe, but it was not what we were looking for. It just, just didn't make the song good. So then he said to me, look, go back into the living area of the studio. It was House of Audio in Karlsdorf at the time. Uh, we'd spent like six, seven weeks there, constant working on the record. And, um, oh, it's playing, it's working. <laughs> it still works. It eats the batteries, by the way. But anyway. Anyway, that player, just real quick, it's like a cassette, small, and um, 
actually it might let me let me check it out it's very small it's a lot smaller than a cassette but it's digital so you don't lose any quality and of course at that time is it gonna let me take it out yeah there it is at that time it even says pink cream 69 songs on it it was a breakthrough so of course to have a dat player at that time was just this amazing thing you know now it's worth nothing i mean you probably get like 50 euro for it or something like that but at the time it was about 600 700 euro for, for a dat player so um what did I find on this DAP player? I found the three ideas that I had for Break the Silence. Now what I want to do is, just for fun, you know, whether I'm allowed to do this or not, I don't know, but um, I just wanted to play you the three different ideas and then obviously you're going to hear the, the idea that I had that, that got the place on the record, of course. Let's play track number one. So you're going to hear it now. Yeah, pretty cool. It, I, went in, I, I went in the studio and I said to Dennis, look, I've got three ideas. Um, I've been at, in, in the back, I've been at home in my studio and I've been in the, in the living area of the studio. So I played him the, the idea number one. So I played him idea number two, which you're going to hear now. And then I played him this one. Now you might recognize this one. Different lyrics, of course. And at that point, Daddy said, that one. But the funny thing was, he said, that's it, that's gonna work. It was different lyrics, it's obviously different lyrics. It's rough song at the time, just with a, with a 58, with a mic. Just, you know, obviously I say 58 with a mic like this, you know what I mean? To get ideas down. I'm not gonna get the big mic out for this, you know. So I got the ideas down and I, I oh. So I gave it to him. And he was like, that's it. And, but that was my funny one. This was my uh, Iron Maiden fun thing that I did for, just for fun. But the funny thing was, was that he liked that one. He liked that idea as a refrain. So we kept it and it made the record. And that was a song that we continued and still write to the last day, to the last set list that we played. We played that song live. And at the end of the day, if we hadn't have gone back and said, look, is this a good song? Is this what we need? Change the refrain. You know, we wouldn't, uh, the, the, the song wouldn't have, wouldn't have, have, have made it so far. It's always, al almost like a song like Lost in Illusion. Same thing, obviously. I'm not sure which record it was on. Maybe you can write in the comments down below. <laughs> Never been the best with details. But um, yeah, I'm in my studio at the moment. Like I said, I'm working on new stuff. I've uh, just posted recently, I think it's on the the 5th of April. I'm in Club 7 with Club 7. Bin ich mit Moby Dick on die Wegs. Um, das ist richtig geil. I played actually recently uh, uh, quite near Karlsruhe. So there was a lot of people there. It was sold out in the legendary Soundcheck 1. Finally got there with a good friend of mine, Roman, of course, you know, from Pink Cream 69. So I'll be out with Moby Dick. We'll be playing all our favourite songs basically on that evening and uh, let's see what happens the rest of the year lots of things happening uh, lots of you know big changes voodoo circle record of obviously be coming out this year at some point and uh, it's taking time and a tour will follow of course thank you for listening it's been amazing to get in touch with you guys again keep the comments going keep subscribing to the channel I'm nearly at the thousand point, which is just really incredible. That feels really good. It's taken a long time. And I know that it's been a long time since I made a video. It's missed my first one in 24. And let's hope it's not the last. Recently, I uh, 
posted uh, the cruise video that we play with Pink Cream 69. I know this, there's a lot of people on the cruise at the moment or going. It's February, so they're going on the cruise again. Unfortunately, our place was taken by another band. Um, we're playing again this year because we decided at the COVID time, which of course is pretty much over, thank God, that it was too much of a risk for us to do. It was a crazy idea that we had and that's what we did and it meant at the end of the day that we'd lose our position. That's how it goes. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for listening. Adios amigos!